We're going to start chapter 4, graphing and linear equations. I need you to write these notes down in your graphing notebook. We're going to use the graphing notebook for this entire chapter. You're going to write these down. If you need to pause along the way, don't forget you can pause. You can rewind anything you need to hear again. And if you have a question, go ahead and write that down on the side of your notes, and we can go over that tomorrow during class. So we're going to start with 4.1 linear equations. So first, what is a linear equation? Let's write this in your notebook. Linear equations. When the equation is graphed, a line is made. I could have an equation y equals 3x plus 2. If I graph that in a coordinate plane, I will get a straight line. The points along that line are solutions to the equation, and those solutions are always written as ordered pairs, as x and y. X is the horizontal axes, Y is the vertical axes. I remember Y to the sky. We always write X first. Again, remember alphabetical order. If I know what my X is and the Y, I can substitute those into the equation and I will have a solution to my equation. A fancy way of saying a graph is just calling it a coordinate plane. When would we ever use this? Well, you don't need to write this down. This is just kind of an example. Let's say you have a water tank and you have a hole in that water tank and you want to predict when your water tank will be empty. You can make a straight line and you can actually predict when your water tank would be empty. Notice in this we don't have the whole entire coordinate plane because we don't have negative time. So sometimes we don't need to use the entire coordinate plane. Do not write this down. This is just to show you how we will set up our tables for a linear equation. And I will take you step by step through this in the next couple of slides, but this just gives you a visual. In our first column, we always have an x. Second column, we always have the equation. Third column is y, and we're going to always solve for y. And then we have our x and y coordinate points. So what we do is we select points for x. We always should have a negative. I always use a zero. And then we use positive points that kind of correspond to our negatives. Then what you do with those numbers is you substitute that in for the x, you solve for y, and you write those as this pair. So we're going to take you step by step how to do this. So our first step is, so we're going to write this down. Step number one, first of all, you're going to make that table like I just showed you with x equation y and xy. And again, I will go through some more examples. Most of the time we're going to use positive and negative numbers and that's zero to make our graph, except when graphing equations that have no negative values, such as I just showed you with time. Step two, for each x value, you're going to solve the equation for y. Step three, you're going to plot the ordered pairs. Step four, you're going to draw a straight line through all of the points using a ruler. So if you don't have a ruler, you need to get one. So again, write down these notes, and I'm going to give you examples on how to do this step by step. Okay, so first step. We want to graph this linear equation, which is y equals negative 2x plus 1. So the first thing you do is you make your table. So here's my x, here's my equation. Here's my y, and here's my xy coordinates. Then we need to use positive and negative numbers and a zero. So I've selected negative 2, 0, and positive 2. So that's the first step. Get your table organized. I'll take you to the second step. So second step, now that I have that, I'm going to actually plug in my values and solve for y. So I know that y equals one half, and here's where I'm going to plug in my x, which is negative two, minus three. So if I solve this, what is one half of negative two? Well, that's negative one. Negative one and negative three make negative four. I'm going to write those as x, y coordinates. So my x was negative two, my y is negative four. Okay, let's solve it again. y equals one half times 0 minus 3. 1 half of 0 is still 0, so my y is negative 3. I'm going to write those as my coordinates. 0 and negative 3. My last one, y equals 1 half of 2 minus 3. 1 half of 2 is 1. 
1 minus 3 gives me negative 2. So I have a 2 and negative 2. So those are the numbers that I want to plot. So I'm going to go to the next step. Okay, next step. So now we want to plot those on a coordinate plane. So in your graph paper, you're going to make a coordinate plane. So we make our coordinate plane. And we know that the center is 0, 0. So this is positive 1, 2, 3, 4. This is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Sorry, it's hard to read those numbers. There we go. And going up is 1, 2, 3, 4. And going down is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So let's plot our numbers. So our first one was negative 2. So I'm going to go over to negative 2 and I'm going to go to negative 4. So I'm going to put a dot there. Then I'm going to go to 0 and negative 3. And then I'm going to go to positive 2 and negative 2. So those are my numbers that I'm plotting on my graph. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to make sure I get a pretty straight line. Connect the dots, make my straight line. So that is the solution to my equation. So what if for my linear equation I just have y equals b?